you'll hear people say, use conversion campaigns, not traffic campaigns, if you're trying to promote your music on Spotify and streaming services. Like I had a couple songs work totally good with the traffic campaign. And then I dropped my song, You, and I don't remember what month that was in 2020, but you know, I saw I got like, you know, 500 clicks or something, something big. And I was like, oh, this song is doing really well. Cool. And then I see the Spotify stats and it's got like, <laughs> like 15 streams. And that was the first time I had like, I saw that kind of disconnect between a Facebook result and a Spotify result. Previous to that, yeah. it was kind of all making sense. Um, and so essentially from there, I I was already doing a little bit of pixel stuff for like my Genera Studios website and, and um, you know, selling sample packs and whatever. And I think I might've been running Facebook ads for that. So I was kind of familiar with the idea of using a Facebook pixel and tracking conversion events on the landing page. And so, you know, and it's not like I invented this idea or anything, but I kind of thought like, okay, well, what if we could use a conversion campaign to to do this where like we're not just having a click where like there's some kind of traceability maybe that'll look better and that that essentially solved the problem um for i forget if it was that song i fixed it or if i did it on the next track um and then that's essentially been what i've been doing ever since